Hey everyone, I'm at the fire lookout at uh, Mount Tequitz in San Jacinto Wilderness Area, and it's a fun hike. It's beautiful. I love it here. There's something something rugged about this area, maybe because it's not as, as busy as the uh, more popular areas to the north. But this is a beautiful hike. It's a little over 10 miles, a little north of 3,000 feet of climbing. It's a loop trail, or you can just come to the peak and go back down, but it is beautiful. I'm at the fire tower right now, and you can see, we're sort of at the line, you can see where the, the forest fire came and stopped and over there. You have excellent views, that's the way the hike comes up, and you can see some damage from the forest fire all the way around. Here's the tower, and then over here is Mount San Jacinto. So, really fun hike, really scenic. If you want to do it, just go to hikingguy.com and I have all the info. You do need a permit on certain days, so do your homework, don't just watch the video. Uh, but otherwise, here are the turn by turns. The hike starts in Humber Park. You need a parking pass to park here. And the Devil's Slide Trail trailhead is all the way at the end of the parking lot area. I have a little map on the website to help you find it. If you have a permit, this is where it will be checked. Otherwise, you can just continue to hike. And the Devil's Slide Trail is pretty straightforward. You're going to go up. There's Lily Rock, a popular rock climbing destination in the distance. But there's switchbacks and climbing, and that's, that's the progression. You're going to get nice views um, into Idlewild, Temecula, and uh, Palomar Mountains. Here you can see the views start to open up. And this goes on for about two and a half miles, and eventually you're going to come up to Saddle Junction. Now this is Saddle Junction up here, and there are a few different trail options at Saddle Junction. You're going to make the hard right onto the PCT. If you make the left, you head up towards San Jacinto, Wellman's Divide, but make the hard right. Now when you make the right, there's two trails here. Just make sure you're on the rightmost trail, which is the Pacific Crest Trail, the PCT. Once you're on the trail, it's very easy to follow. It's not as steep here as the Devil's Slide Trail, um, and you're going to make your way kind of gradually up towards uh, to Quitz Peak this way. You can see you definitely feel like you're in an alpine environment here. There's pine trees, there's some nice meadows, and you'll see places where people camp for the night. Remember, this is the PCT, so people kind of plop their tent down when they reach the end of the day. But here we're going to leave the PCT. This is the next junction. Here you can see the sign. Now off to the left, the PCT continues, but we're going to go to the right. This is also a very popular camping spot too, and you might see a lot of footprints and a lot of different smaller trails here. But what you want to do is just go over this ridge and then kind of stay to the right and you'll see the trail ahead of you right there and it becomes obvious once you get over the ridge and you're just going to go straight on this portion now the views from here on to the peak are incredible and you kind of are on the side of the the cliff here but you can see over to Marion Mountain San Jacinto it's all there for you to check out now you're going to continue and eventually you're going to reach a little um, kind of spur off to the left a little trail junction which is right here and there's a sign, and again, the signs aren't always there. People steal the signs sometimes, but there's the sign. And you're going to make the left on this little junction. There's straight ahead into Idlewild. But you're going to make the left and climb up towards the fire tower. And it's easy to follow. You can see it right here. And once you get to this top of this little section, it'll only be a minute or two, you will get to the fire tower. And here it is. Very cool. It's kind of hidden. You don't really see it when you're coming up from the hike, from the trail below. You don't really see it until the end. Now you can climb up on the fire tower unless it's blocked off for some reason. And you just head up the stairs here. They do ask that you only go five at a time. The structure dates back to 1937. And it's the, uh, the, the oldest continually used um, fire tower here in the park. It's also the highest one in the park. Here you can see where the Cranston fire in 2018 just stopped right on that ridge. 
Miraculously, the fire tower is saved, but you can see all the fire damage down there below. Pretty incredible. Started by an arsonist, actually. Sad. But you can check out the views, walk around the tower here. You can look inside. There's usually a volunteer here. There wasn't one at this second, but usually there's a volunteer fire watcher, which you can sign up to do as well. So check out the tower, and then you can either go back the way you came, or you can do the optional loop hike. And if you want to do the optional loop hike, instead of making the right to go back the way you came, you make the left here towards Idlewild, and you head down on what's called the South Ridge Trail. And you can see the views are pretty nice. It's uh, similar to the other trail. There's going to be a lot of switchbacks, a lot of back and forth, and you're just going to head down towards Idlewild. This is generally kind of the condition of the trail. It's um, not as popular as a double slide trail, but it is fairly popular. You see more trail runners and people over here, locals, I think. But you keep going down, and then eventually it will level off. There's a little meadow here. Again, some camping spots, spots where people have uh, kind of hung out for a while, but keep going straight. And then once you get past this little flat area here, it goes down once again, and you have a mile or two of downhill until you get to kind of the outer limits of Idlewild. And eventually the trail will kind of dead end or kind of come out onto this forest service road, this big dirt road here. And there's parking here for the South Ridge Trail uh, for people that are coming up. And if you can't get a permit, you can go up this way as well. But if you're going this way, just keep going straight down the dirt road. There are some side kind of roads and spurs. And there's also these yellow post camping areas, which you see here on the left-hand side. These are actually free camping areas, first come, first serve. But we're gonna keep going straight down the road. And it's easy to follow. It's a big far service road. And eventually you're gonna come out to uh, a street in Idlewilds and you're gonna make the right on the street. It's kind of semi-paved. And you're only going to be on the street for a little while, and eventually you're going to see the Ernie Maxwell Scenic Trail, which is right here, and it kind of branches off to the right of the street. You'll see cars. Generally, people have parked here to hike up the trail. And there's a nice sign. Again, the sign might be stolen. Hopefully not. And the Ernie Maxwell Trail is a nice one. It's a real gradual uphill. It's not too steep. It's shaded for a lot of the way, and it's very scenic. So you're just going to keep heading up here and you can see this gives you an idea of the trail. It's very easy to follow. It's beautiful and you can get some nice views. And you're going to go straight. It's about two and a half miles total on this gradual uphill. There's one part where the there's a climber's trail up to the right. We're going to avoid that and just go on the regular the trail trail, the hiker's trail, straight here. And shortly after that uh, little turnoff, you're going to come back up to the parking lot in Humber Park. And this is it right here. Now you're going to be in the lower parts of the parking lot from the Devil's Slide Trail trailhead. So when you come up here, you're just going to make the right and walk up through the parking lot. And you'll be back to where you started the hike. So that's the hike. Takwitz Peak, it's a cool one, especially with that fire tower and the views. You know, every, every minute there's something beautiful to see on this hike. So definitely give it a try if you haven't done it. Go to Hiking Guy, I have all the maps and the information you need to do the hike there. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you could do me a big favor and give me a little thumbs up, that'll help folks find the hike, do it safely. And uh, as always, stay in touch. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you go to the website, I have links to my Instagram, Twitter, email, carrier pigeon, fax, telefax, megaphone, anything, anything you want. Um, and if you see me out on the trails, please say hello. I always love meeting you guys. And uh, and yeah, happy happy hiking, guys. Bye.